हेलो एवरी वन टूडे वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस अबाउट होमी बाबा प्रैक्टिकल एग्जाम विच इज लेवल टू एग्जाम फॉर मेनी ऑफ यू यू विल बी अपियरिंग फॉर द प्रैक्टिकल एग्जाम फॉर द फर्स्ट टाइम एंड डेयर फॉर यू विल बी क्यूरियस टू नो अबाउट इट इन दिस वीडियो वी विल डिस्कस प्रैक्टिकल फॉर सिक्स एंड नाइन्थ स्टैंडर्ड एंड वी विल डिस्कस सम एक्सपेरिमेंट्स विच केम इन द पास्ट यू मस्ट बी नोइंग दैट वन के नॉट डायरेक्टली अपियर फॉर लेवल टू प्रैक्टिकल First, you have to appear for level one theory exam, which is the main exam. Top ten percent students are selected, and only they can appear for level two practical. In science, experiments are very very essential. The real life experiment may take few hours or even few days. However, for homey bhava practical, you should expect a small experiment or an activity which can be performed in a short amount of time. as homi baba exam the whole exam has to be completed in 30 minutes time for biology you should not expect any actual activity or the experiment so don't expect that they will give you a seeds to plant and then the tree will grow and then you would have to observe the leaves and tell whether they are monocot or dicot for biology practical no experiment actually can be completed in such a small time so they will basically give you samples or specimens or objects to observe and you have to make the observation and write the answers first let us discuss for six standard when you enter the exam hall there will be five tables or five set of experiments you have to visit each table and carry out the experiments on every table you will get 6 minutes time there will be few things for you to do there will be few specimens or objects for you to observe and there will be a card you have to read the card the card will tell you what you are supposed to do and it will also have questions you have to do the things you have to make the observations and you have to write the answer to the questions at the end of 6 minutes you have to move to the next table so in all you will visit all the five tables and overall you will have 30 marks examination and you will get only 30 minutes now let us see what was there for six standard practical on the first table a spring balance was given an object with a string attached and a measuring cylinder with some water already added into it was put the questions were find the mass of the object find the volume of the object and calculate the density of the object so what you are supposed to do you were supposed to use the spring balance and measure the mass of the object and note it down in grams to calculate the volume you have to first note the initial level of the water in the cylinder then you have to dip the object inside the water level will rise up and you are supposed to note the final level you subtract the two levels and find the volume of the object and for the third question you have to write the formula density is equal to mass upon volume you have to calculate and add the units gram per cc so overall this table was for 6 marks and 6 minutes on the next table there were two parts in the first part a model of a duck and pigeon was kept the question was observe the feet write the modifications and the second question was why the duck keeps on rubbing its wings with the beak so what you are supposed to write is in case of duck it will have web feet which are useful for swimming as it can very easily push the water back and it gets the reaction force for going forward in case of pigeon you will find that the thumb is on the opposite side of the fingers so the pigeon will get a good grip to sit on the branches of the tree so these were the modifications you are supposed to write in the second question you should have written that the duck keeps on secreting some oily substance from its beak and by applying that oily substance over the wings and its feathers its feathers doesn't get wet when it is in water so that is the reason in the second part a sample of garlic plant was kept and the question was identify write the modification and observe the roots what kind of roots it shows so what you are supposed to write is the garlic plant is monocot flowering plant it shows modification of leaves leaves are food storing leaves roots you should observe they are fibrous roots because it is a monocot plant on the next table experimental setup was already made in a funnel activated charcoal was kept some green color liquid was given you are supposed to pour the liquid over the charcoal in the funnel and collect the liquid coming through it 
the questions were the first question was about color so you are supposed to write that initially the liquid is green but when it passes through charcoal it becomes colorless second question initially the liquid was having the smell but when it passes through charcoal the smell also vanishes now what can you conclude that activated charcoal is capable of absorbing water soluble colors and water soluble gases next question is on theory what are allotropes of carbon so here you should write coal diamond and graphite are allotropes of carbon write uses of charcoal you can as the experiment itself gives you a clue that it is used in water filters also charcoal can be used as a fuel to burn and get energy and it can be used in charcoal pencils can be used for drawing yeah. on this table two water samples a and b test tubes a and b soap solution and a special solution in a pot z was given to you question number one you are supposed to take a and b in the respective test tubes add a drop of soap in both shake it vigorously so the observation is that solution a which was actually hard water does not produce any lather or foam instead the water becomes whitish or uh, non-transparent the sample b produces ample of lather or soap bubbles what was the conclusion conclusion is that water sample a must be hard water b must be soft water because hard water does not make lather or bubbles for the question two you are again supposed to take the two samples in the two new test tubes a and b you are supposed to add the special solution z from the pot in both shake it vigorously then add few drops of soap and again shake and observe so the observation you should note that now this time soap bubbles are formed in both a as well as in b conclusion sample a now must have become soft by addition of solution z because it is now producing lather and there was a question can you identify the solution z so here you should write that solution z must be washing soda sodium carbonate na2co3 because we have studied that washing soda can soften the hard water on the same table there was part 2 a cashew fruit and seed was kept so the question identify you should write it is a cashew plant classification is it is dicot flowering plant the specialty you should say the seed is outside the fruit so overall six marks six minutes for this table on this table these two samples were kept the question was identify and write which type of simple machines so for the first object you should write it is coal tong third type of lever because effort at the center the second one nut cracker it is a second type of the lever because load is at the center the next question was human jaw is similar to which one of them so the answer should be human jaw is similar to coal tongs as it is third type of lever why third type so you imagine you are chewing with your jaw fulcrum effort by your muscle and then load so here effort at the center that means third type on the same table a digestive system chart was kept with points p and q marked the question was identify and write the functionality so what you should write p is the organ esophagus or food pipe and the functionality is carry the food from mouth to the stomach by muscular contractions q was pointing towards liver so the functionality is it creates bile juice which digest oil and fats now let us see the exam experiments for 9th standard homeopathy practical for 9th standard physics one experiment 10 marks 10 minutes here a cardboard disc was given with two holes which you can see here p and q protractor two ball pens and a piece of wire was given procedure put the given circular disc on your answer sheet put a pen p at point p such that the disc can rotate around it now put another pen in the hole q and rotate the disc to 90 degree mark the path followed by point q so you take the disc center you have to hold with some pressure so that the disc will not move the second pen you have to put in the point q and then you rotate the disc through 90 degrees that is what you are supposed to do then there was a question sheet what type of path is followed by point q measure distance traveled by q using flexible wire 
calculate distance traveled by q using geometrical formulas so question 2 and 3 one is by experimental method one is by calculation fourth displacement of q fifth assume that the motion happened in 10 seconds calculate speed and velocity of point q now looking at this cardboard sheet you must have made a guesswork that you are going to get a circular arc so this is what you will get p point you can see over here which kind of acts like a center of the circle and as you rotate the disc the q point is going to follow quarter arc of a circle so here you can see the blue color line indicates the path followed by q q point goes from x to y so here it is shown path followed by point q arc of circle and here is a sample answer sheet for you path obviously along the arc of circle with radius pq arc angle is equal to 90 degrees next question distance traveled by measurement so you have to take a thread go on putting it along the circular curved path from x to y then the thread should be straightened out and you have to measure it with scale and if you do it you get answer 11 centimeters now the same distance you have to calculate by calculation for that you have to measure the radius now in this diagram you can see radius is length px see px is the radius or pq or py all all are okay so you measure it it is 7 centimeters and now you can use the formula distance traveled will be 2 pi r by 4 because it is quarter of the circle 2 pi r being perimeter and answer comes 11 centimeters which very nicely matches with answer number 2 done by experimental measurement now for fourth question we have to find displacement of point q now if you see the q point is moving along circle but when we talk about displacement it is a vector quantity so you have to consider the starting point and the ending point and then you have to join them with a straight line somewhat like this so q point goes from x to y and then this distance you have to measure with scale it comes 10 centimeter and then the direction is along the ray x y so in the answer sheet same thing is mentioned length is 10 centimeter displacement but the direction is also mentioned as it is a vector quantity last question was calculation for speed and velocity assuming time 10 seconds so speed is equal to distance upon time which is 11 by 10 which is 1.1 centimeter per second velocity is displacement upon time which is 10 by 10 which is 1 centimeter per second you should not forget to write the units but you must be knowing that velocity is a vector quantity and therefore you should add the direction now direction of velocity is same as that of displacement and therefore in this answer the direction is added along x y direction and that completes the answer velocity equal to 1 centimeter per second along x y direction for chemistry there was one experiment 10 marks 10 minutes the experiment was having two parts part one given hydrochloric acid ammonium hydroxide and glass rod procedure dip the glass rod in ammonium hydroxide bottle hold it over hydrochloric acid bottle do not dip it inside questions observation explain the chemical reaction identify the type of reaction write two properties of ammonia gas and you must have guessed what you are supposed to see the ammonium hydroxide will react with hcl fumes at the mouth of the bottle and they will produce ammonium chloride and therefore you should expect to see white color fumes something like this here you can see the white color fumes coming out at the mouth of hcl bottle now here is the sample answer sheet for you observation white color fumes are observed they are due to ammonium chloride nh4cl explanation hcl will evaporate and it reacts with ammonium hydroxide near the mouth of the bottle ammonium chloride and water is formed here you can see the reaction hcl plus nh4oh gives nh4cl plus h2o type is it is double displacement reaction and properties of ammonia gas pungent smell which comes due to decomposition of urine near the uncleaned urinals it is a colorless gas and it is alkaline in nature now for part two given hydrochloric acid in a beaker small pieces of magnesium wire procedure put one small piece of wire in hydrochloric acid observe questions observation explain with reaction what type of reaction what is the test to detect hydrogen gas and this is what you should expect to see 
a magnesium piece is put in HCl and you can see lot of bubbles coming out, gas bubbles are coming out. So here is the answer sheet for you. Observation, magnesium wire reacts with acid to produce gas bubbles which are of hydrogen gas. The reaction Mg plus 2 HCl gives MgCl2 plus H2 gas. You must draw the arrow indicating that the gas is evolved. It is a displacement reaction and the test to detect hydrogen gas we need to put a burning matchstick near the bubbles and hydrogen gas burns with pop sound that is the test to detect hydrogen gas nine standard biology 10 specimens one mark one minute each identify what type of modification so it is turmeric halkunda and it is food storing stem why stem is because it shows nodes and internodes. This line is a node, this line is a node and the area between that is internode. Even though it is below the ground, it is a stem, not the root. Second, identify and write the use. It is lecorice, jeshti mud, medicinal plant used to treat throat infections and cough. Respiratory organ, insects like cockroach have tracheal tubes. A coconut was kept, identify. It is coconut flower, germinating coconut, a sprout of coconut. This sample was kept. So, answer is it is lichen, dagad fool. It is used as spice. It is also used to make litmus paper. A chart was kept with an arrow. So, the organ is appendix. It does not help in digestion. It has become redundant during evolution. A gulmohar flower was kept. Write the speciality. So, you should say modification of leaves to attract insects. Actually, this work is done by the petals of the flower, but here leaves are doing that. It is called bract. Here, two animals were kept crab and a scorpion. Identify, classify. So, if you count, both appear to have 10 legs each, but in case of crab, these two are legs, whereas in case of scorpion, these two are not legs. These are modifi modification of mouth part. So, these are part of mouth and not legs and therefore crab 10 legs, so arthropoda crustacean, scorpion 8 legs, arthropoda arachnida. Udad dal sample was kept, what nutrition we get? So, answer is udad dal pulses, it gives proteins. A fish was kept with a point, arrow pointing toward this line, what is the use of this line? Answer, it is a lateral line, cells can detect pressure of water. It is used to sense the depth of water at which the fish is swimming. So now you must have got a good idea how the exam is conducted and what you should expect when you go for the exam. The exam is very interesting and therefore the preparation is also interesting. It will offer you many new opportunities to learn science and to learn about science practicals. Therefore, we have made separate videos for this, how to prepare for the exam, what skills you should develop to be a good science experimenter and finally how to write the answers because answers will give you marks in the exam. The link in the description, you are most welcome to go through that. We do conduct various sessions and classes for Homi Baba level 1, level 2 and level 3. If you are interested to join, please feel free to contact us. Good luck. Bye-bye.